Sure. Um, the background of our company is basically we were founded in 1919 by a Danish confectioner. Um, his plan was to make the finest homemade ice cream and sweets for the Oak Park community. And he, he did a great job. Um, our mission today is to provide a super premium, true old world ice cream to our clients at a competitive price. Um, <coughs> well, the, the, the main benefit is, I guess, would say taste, and it, it, it's really a family environment. Um, parents bring their kids in, and they have good family time, and they enjoy our product. I'd say that it's really broken up into two categories. One, one client base would be our, our bread and butter which is wholesale distribution to uh -huh. restaurants and stuff like that. Um, our other clientele would be mom and dad with the kids in our retail locations. And um, they're, they're very different, but they're both looking for the same thing, a great product that they really enjoy. Sure. Um, a lot of our, our business to consumer is, it's like I said, it's parents with their children, usually it's before or after an event, like uh, dinner uh -huh. or a soccer game or a movie or whatever it may be. Um, and that's that's a relationship we, we like to foster and encourage our employees to you know, be nice and interact with the, the families and kind of build a community rapport. Um, and we believe that by doing that, more people become loyal to our brand. They don't associate us just with our customers, but with how we interact with them. Um, I, I'd say we have a lot of both. Um, strengths would be we, we have a phenomenal product at a very competitive price in relation to our competitors. Um, our customer service is top notch. We will bend over backwards to do whatever it takes to service our clients. Um, our, our weakness would be is we're still kind of trying to break out from that mom and pop operation where we can handle the lower customers that are kind of being thrown at us. Um, we're still a small business, but um, we, our clients expect more out of us then sometimes we, we're able to fully um, give to them. So we, we do everything we can to service them, but um, to me our weaknesses is we're, we're still small, but we, to compete with our competitors, we, we have to act like we're a lot bigger than we are. Um, well, our, our competitors, uh, take for example, um, our, one of our key competitors is Homer's Ice Cream Mountain and Romac. And um, they, they are larger than us. Um, they, they have a strength that they've been around for 70 years, where we've been around for 90 years, so they have a good market base. Um, but their, their distribution capability is larger and it's in house as opposed to ours is outsourced. Um, their manufacturing is in house, ours is outsourced. Um, and they have been in the wholesale distribution business far longer than we have. Um, so that's that's hard to deal with when you're trying to go land another account that may be with homeowners or, uh -huh. or something else. We don't have necessarily all the resources they have. However, our our core sales is really the taste of the ice cream, uh -huh. and, and a lot of times we'll have them taste their ice cream from homeowners um, in relation to ours, and a lot of times that's just enough to get them to switch over. Um, we, we do do some direct mailing, um, mainly during the summer and springtime. Um, other than that, a lot of our, our business is just that people have known that we've been there since 1931. However, we are fighting a lot of people um, <coughs> believe we, we've closed our retail location because the restaurant side uh -huh. is gone out of business. However, the ice cream parlor itself is still there. Um, it's just they, they don't see the, the big sign lit up anymore and you know where the restaurant used to be is vacant. So they, they believe we 
shut down operations because the ice cream shop is much smaller, obviously. Uh -huh. So basically just come outside and watch. Uh, Thank you. Um, well, I guess it would all start with our manufacturing facility in Waterloo, Michigan, where we manufacture our product and do our main storage. And that, from there, it's then trucked to a warehouse um, in Melrose Park with cars distributed. And they have six to eight trucks on the road, and they distribute uh, five days a week to very various areas in metropolitan Chicago. Um, then from there, we, we get it out to our sweet shops or to our restaurants from, from the trucks. However, the issue we're, we're having with them is they're only willing to um, distribute one day a week to each client. So that becomes a hassle because many clients can't deal with that. Um, so right now we're in negotiations with a larger distributor who can service our clients six days a week. Well, it, I think that it's kind of depends on the customer. Um, obviously, the more the more ice cream they're buying, um, really determines what pricing we can give to them. Um, at, at a retail location like Sweet Shop, it's a fixed pricing because we, we know how much we need to charge to keep the doors open. On the wholesale side, however, um, the more ice cream that a restaurant or a restaurant chain is going to go through, the more we can cut our costs to be competitive with our, our uh, competitors. Yes, absolutely. Um, right now, we only offer about 20 different flavors of ice cream um, in wholesale, and we have about 30 flavors, 32 flavors, um, depending on time of year in our uh, sweet shop. However, um, the problem becomes how much ice cream are we going to sell a specific flavor. When we, when we make a run of ice cream, we have to order a minimum of 60 cans of it, um, with an ideal run of being a batch of 240. Um, so we need to know how much we're going to sell as opposed to how much we can manufacture. We have recipes for over 50 flavors of ice cream, but can we actually sell that ice cream to make it worthwhile to do the run? Um, even though we have consumers coming all the time, you know, why don't you have this flavor anymore? The, the real answer is we, we simply, it's just not cost effective to produce it. Um, we, we do believe that um, there, there can, there's always more that we can offer. Um, right now we're, we're playing with the concept of putting in, you know, higher end coffee, cappuccino, espresso, um, to kind of cover the <coughs> mall of business during the winter months, but also um, make it more of an old <coughs> sweet shop type thing from the 30s, 40s, 50s, where we offer, you know, biscuits and happy apples and all that stuff to bring in. Business when it's too cold outside, we don't eat ice cream.